Hello and welcome to Podcast 44. I am John and today I'm joined by the lovely Luke. The hero. And today we are going to talk about the UK voting reform which should be taking place in the near future to change the way we vote here in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Um, at the moment we use the uh, first past the post uh, primary. It's our primary source of voting obviously. And this yeah. is uh, used mainly by the US and the UK. And this system, uh, parties voting for in constituencies, so the country split up into areas, so you've got like cities with sort of split up and all this other jazz, and basically um, the system, the party with the most votes in that constituency wins, hence the first past the post, disregard so, all other votes So all the other parties have no say in anything if, if, for instance, the Conservatives win in one constituency Labour will not have a say in what, no, what they're, happens they're like they, they will go to the head of the council or whatever and they, they, they would call the shots. All right, okay. And basically the pros of this would be it, it makes strong politics because it would make a strong government. You've got a lot of Labour Conservative and mm. they would be able to, to like join together and make keep their policies and stuff. Uh, yeah. So they don't have to make concessions like the, like in a coalition like we've got in the moment. Um, downside okay. to these is is seen as less democratic because the parties <laughs> can govern with a, a tiny majority. So they like got the conservatives at the moment. They haven't got a tiny majority. They got quite a large majority. Yeah. Uh, but Lib Dems, they got the the obviously have to parliament with the Dems to get the overwhelming majority in parliament. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's. Usually the Lib Dems only get up 20-25% of the vote overall, but they don't see any of them. You know, you always got Labour or Conservatives with a majority in, in Parliament, so that's the constant. Yeah. So, and they want to change it to a proportional representation, which is, as you vote, you'll vote in an order if you... Uh, People you prefer, say if you prefer the Labour MP, you put him down number one. If you vote, if if you then second, you prefer the Conservative MP, which would never happen. Then you put them him down as number two, etc., etc. Mm. And then it it works like that basically. And they want to they want to they want to change it to that way because it it gives smaller parties a fairer fairer voting. Make, it makes it easier for them to have a say in Parliament. So, uh, as I as I um, know at the moment, uh, Nick Clegg, who is short, sort of like sharing power with David Cameron, he's trying to get this to go ahead, isn't he? Yeah. Um, only yeah, is David Cameron, uh, Labour Party don't want this to go ahead, but uh, all the smaller parties do, just because it is very unfair for the smaller parties, because w- in areas where they do get most of the votes they're not seeing the return in Parliament because there's always the Conservatives and Labour that are going to get the majority of the seats mm. um, so I I don't really see how they will actually um, pass this through because I mean the only people who are going to vote to change it to proportional representation are the supporters of the smaller parties um, and, yeah that's true but you'd be surprised how many people support smaller parties compared to the big the big massive parties but one of the problems I could see with that is li- I'm not saying the Liberal Democrats can't rule anything but you, if you've got smaller crazy parties, uh, not like crazy parties but ones with no experience whatsoever in government mm. then you're not gonna really want them being in charge like you could have some guy who lived down the road from you start his own political party if you've got enough joust behind him you could end up Winning in a constituency or something, so true. It's a it's a it, double-edged sword. It is, um, like parties like the BNP, for instance. Do you know if they have any sort of um power in in some constituencies? I think they um had a they won a constituency somewhere in northern England. I th- yeah, I'm pr- I'd have to check that out, but I'm ninety percent sure they did. I think they lost it in the recent election. But I think they gained another one. They won another, another part. But um, yeah, things, thing, uh, parties like that, the the media riles it up a lot. They they don't really have that much support. 
So yeah. please don't kill me BMP supporters because I don't want to be killed. But it's true. <laughs> I don't think they really. I don't think they'll kill you. Yeah. Um. So basically, yeah, that's this. That's the situation, isn't it? Um. They're trying to get this to go ahead, but um, it's uncertain whether they will succeed in doing that. Um. So when when are they gonna try and actually? Um. Um. I think it's uh in April. I w- in April. watched a uh, uh. What's it called? Um. A news report on it on the BBC last night. Um. I'm pretty sure it's in April. Um, okay. I'll I'll put down a date just just for sure in the description if if you're interested. Um. Yeah. Well. Okay. If you uh, if you have any uh, views about this, whether you think we should have provoked proportional representation first past post or another form of voting in the UK you just uh, leave it a call below we'll obviously make a follow, follow up to this video because it's quite important the way we vote <laughs> it definitely living is. in a democratic society so just leave a comment below if you want to what if you reply to it and, uh, we'll see you next time from me John and Lutron goodbye bye bye